Hello, 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 and a happy New Year's Eve, my creative friends. Dr. Met Manette Riordan here with Painting in Your PJs Live with Manette. Trying to get all my video buttons going here. So happy New Year's Eve. I am here just for a few quick minutes to tell you about our New Year's Day live stream on Painting in Your PJs tomorrow morning, New Year's Day 2024. Holy cow, I can't believe it's here already. And tomorrow we're going to be creating a set of five prayer flags. And I'll talk more tomorrow about what a prayer flag is. And we're going to use these prayer flags to celebrate and honor what I call our mantra of the year. And that mantra could be one word, it could be a phrase, I usually prefer a phrase. But rather than just an abstract word of the year, I want something a little more intentional that you can really live into that will guide your direction, your energy and how you're feeling. And your mantra is about how do you want to feel in 2024, not what do you want to do or what you want to accomplish. I believe that we can set really intentional resolutions, have big dreams and goals, but that we need to start on the inside out and really look within to see how do I want to say this to see if we're aligned and at the head, the heart and the gut level with the direction that we're going. And if there is a phrase that will help us move with commitment and energy and confidence in that direction. And so in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera here. Hold on just a minute. And it's like it's 1030 in the morning, my time on New Year's Eve. And I am still in my PJs, my happy, happy place to be. And so super, um, super excited for tomorrow's live stream. This will be my second annual New Year's Day live stream. So I have a pile of goodies here. But before I get to those goodies, I also created a workbook for you. Let me zoom not in. Hold get bear with me one second. Come on camera. Zoom, 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 zoom out. So I created a little mini workbook for you. This is a free workbook. It's a free live workshop on YouTube and here and on Facebook as well on painting in your PJs with Manette. And the link to grab this free workbook is in the description of the video and in the comments um, or in the comments on Facebook as well. So there's a set of questions to help you start thinking about your mantra. And I'm not going to read the questions. You can read those yourselves. There is a play sheet here to write out your mantra ideas. <laughs> That's going to be so early for you. Hi, Nikki. Welcome, welcome. I didn't really expect anyone to pop by live this morning, but super glad to have you here. And I'm so excited about tomorrow. I changed the project midstream because I saw someone else was creating a scroll type journal for word of the year. And then I really decided that I wanted something that was going to be very visible and visual that I could hang on the wall. And so I decided to create prayer, prayer flags. So there's a series of questions. There's some space to start practicing your ideas. Come live tomorrow. If you're not sure about your mantra, I will be coaching people live through getting the, the phrasing and the words right. There is also one of Connor, my son, Connor Dobson's gorgeous sacred circle designs. This is going to go on my center prayer flag. And I'll talk tomorrow about ideas for getting that on there with my mantra in the center. At least that's my plan for right now that could change. But I picked this design that I really love because I felt like it feels like a traditional mandala with giving honor to the four directions and to the the four gates so much symbolism here but mostly i really love this sort of celtic knot design that he's been creating a lot and then what i wanted to really focus on in this particular video were the supplies this is a suggested supply list again you can download all of these pages for free and the link is in the description of the video. The link is in the description of the video. So what you're going to need for this is either some strips of raw canvas or cotton muslin or duck cloth. 
would be one thing to create with. These are sized four by eight. As I'm looking at them, I'm trying to decide if I actually want mine to be a little bit bigger, we'll see. And they're extra long and skinny because you're gonna to wanna to leave a flap for stitching and hanging your prayer flags at the top. This could just as easily, hi Tori, I'm so excited for tomorrow too. This could just as easily be uh, done with mixed media paper. You could do watercolor paper. It doesn't always bend great. You could even do this with markers and crayons and printer paper. So don't let the supplies daunt you. Bring what you have. But you're going to want four or five. I think I'm going to do five because I want my mantra in the in the center. So five four by eight or maybe five by nine sheets of fabric, muslin, mixed media paper, anything you love to paint on. If you are painting on raw canvas or fabric like I will be, I recommend gessoing it in advance if it's raw. So this is pre-gessoed canvas that I'm going to be working on. And then just bring a whole bunch of fun stuff to think about. So I was looking at some gel prints I had done recently, and I'm looking for color inspiration. My mantra for the year, and I'll share more about that, is I am light. I'll share more tomorrow. I am light. So I'm actually really loving this palette with this bright bright yellow and these little bits of purple and pink so we'll see what I end up with tomorrow morning I'll probably spend a little time swatching out some colors also really loved this magenta purple and turquoisey blue and then my nature colors that I love so much so we'll see where I end up uh, any kind of like collage prints gel prints mixed media paper for doing a little bit of collage if you love collage. Uh, maybe some images. I really love the figure of this woman. I feel like she's like walking right into the future. I got some cute little birdies. So just any kind of collage, um, ephemera, bits and pieces that you love working with, you're going to want to have as well. And I'm recommending that you bring three colors of paint. You can see I was playing with colors, three colors of paint plus black and white. This is going to create a lot of just cohesiveness in your design. And if you want to go rainbow and have all the colors available to you, that's fine. But that's often how we can kind of create mud in our artwork. So I recommend three colors plus black and white. Some kind of ribbon, or this is a, a beautiful piece of lace that a friend gave me, or even just I've got some twine here that would be nice. So anything like this that you're going to use to string your prayer flags on once they're completed. And what else do I have on my list? So you're either going to want a, you can use a sewing machine to stitch along the top of the prayer flags, or just simply a needle and thread to do a running stitch. You could even use double stick tape to uh, create the flaps on the flags for hanging. Obviously, you're going to want brushes, some nice fresh clean water, paper towel and baby wipes, and definitely a pen for maybe some writing, uh, extra sheets of paper or your journal for doing a little bit of journaling. And then optional was to print out this gorgeous sacred circle design that's in the workbook. So I've tried to keep the supply list simple. I really want to encourage you to use whatever you have at home. There is uh, nothing absolutely specific. Like I said, it can be any paper, any art supplies that you love. I've got oil pastels. I've got some water soluble crayons. I have a variety of things that I just love to play with. And I want you to think about your mantra ahead of time. You don't need to come tomorrow knowing what that is, but to have some ideas. And sometimes the creative process itself will help us figure that out. You might create your whole string of prayer flags before you know exactly what the words are that you want to have on those flags. So I think that's it. Just to, to summary real quick, five pieces of mixed media, watercolor paper, fabric, or raw canvas. And I would say, at least four by eight or larger, three colors of acrylic paint that you love, plus black and white, 
stuff for collage, stuff for mixed media, uh, stencils or stamps would be great, map medium, glue stick or mod podge, a piece of ribbon for hanging, and then it's something to sew with, and again this could be double stick tape, brushes, water, paper towels, something to write with, and then optional print out the sacred circle design as well. So that gives you an idea of all the different things that we're going to need for tomorrow's live stream starting at 7 a.m. Mountain Time right here on YouTube or live on Facebook as well. Super, super excited. Can't wait to see and gather with you all. Come in your PJs or if it's in the evening for you because you're in Europe, then, uh, you know, come in your cozy clothes that you don't mind getting painty with your glass of wine to celebrate the new year. So whatever feels good to you, I will be here live tomorrow. Can't wait to play with you all. I will see you there. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye-bye.